Hello you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be exploring Get Out. This will be my first time, it was highly requested, so let's see if the home girl's eyes, let's see how I explore, how I feel about it. And of course, give me your opinions down below. Let's see if we have the same reactions, the same feelings. And full length reaction will be down in the description. Make sure you guys go join me over there to help this channel out and your home girl out, exploring movies and TV shows. Okay, so let's go. So let's get my input, you guys. Okay, so Get Out came out in 2017. Comedy, mystery, and horror it is rated 70%. Let's explore Get Out. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more movies and put your opinions down below. All right, baby. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See you. <sighs> okay, so this is Ryan F. This is supposed to be scary. Keep going straight in. I guess it does say oh, horror. No. What was that? Peacock straight and left. Okay. I just keep on walking. The song saying run, so run. Come on, brother. Uh-uh, where you go? Or she? What is this? Yeah, listen to the song. Do they know I'm, do they know I'm black? Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> you said I was the first black guy you ever dated. Yeah, so what? Yeah, so it's his uncharted territory for him. You know, I don't want to get chased off the lawn with a shotgun. I wouldn't be bringing you home yeah. to them. Think about yeah. that for yeah. like two yeah. seconds. Yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope not. I hope not. Nicotine. Yeah. Tobacco. Hold on, I gotta call Rod. Oh, Rod. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Gary just think it's an elderly bitch is elderly. She can't hijack no motherfucking blood. <laughs> See, wait, wait, wait. Really? I know you're laughing. But I'm serious, man. The next 9-11 <laughs> is going to be on some geriatric shit. Hi, Rod. Okay. You know you picked the wrong guy, right? Oh, yeah. Of course I know that. This is all just a ploy to get to you. It's okay. not too late for us. Okay, get your own girl. You know I'm mad at you because you never take my advice. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. It's Rod. <laughs> 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 that scared the hell. Out of me. Is it suffering? Stay here. What? What are you doing? I don't know why. So in the future, the number to call is Animal Control Service. He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving, I asked to see his ID. But why? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but why? We have every right to That's ask. bullshit. I think it is too, but... Ma'am, the... That headlight fixed. And that mirror. She took up for you. Purr. <laughs> what was that? I'm not gonna let anyone fuck with my man. A rider. <laughs> I'm kidding, you call me Dean and you're hungry, <laughs> my man. How are you? I'm so glad they're being nice to him. <laughs> yes. My mom, Mrs. Chris. <laughs> As they should. <laughs> Why is he just standing then staring? <laughs> How long? <laughs> Four months. Oh. Four months. That's early. Mm. Uh, five months, actually. Ooh. She's right. I'm getting awkward vibes. She's a therapist, right? A uh, psychiatrist, yeah. Yeah, it turns out people up here just as messed up in the head as they are in the city. This is Jeremy. It's Rose's little brother. Can't help it. I keep bringing. Maybe he doesn't get a lot of company. Hi. Hello. The uh, garbage goes under the sink, uh, and now for the <laughs> pièce de résistance. So y'all out in the woods, woods. Get it? White family? 
Black servants? It's a total cliche. That's the job they want. They're getting paid, right? Uh, we hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. Uh, by the way, I, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. Best president. That's what your daughter said. I agree, yeah. Did you really vote for him? What's going on? My dad wasn't really in the picture. My mom passed away when I was like 11. Oh, I'm sorry. How did she die? Uh, hit him around remember a lot from that time, so. Mm. Jones a little bit over there. Huh? I'm quitting. Dad, this is why I don't bring people to the house. Anymore. You should have Missy How take care that? of for you. Hypnosis. You better not. Good charm. Wow. Some people don't want strangers messing that part. around their heads, guys. Maybe if we knew each other longer, just a maybe. Yeah. We just kept it up because. Yeah, something's going on with her. Like she's hiding something. Look at her. Close to us. It is. That could have been a red flag. Pouring too much tea. Just get some rest. Yes. Hi, darling. Hi. Nobody answers the door around here. I'll tell you about her toenail collection. She used to bite them off, suck on them, and save them in the jewelry box. Ew. I don't know what you're talking about. It is, and you talk about my cigarette. <laughs> Fuck, okay. I hate you. These are good. Oh, these are good. These are good. We got it. Yeah. I want to hear them. Yeah. Rose, where are your manners? <laughs> I'm going to go get dessert and you know, Dean, maybe clean it up just a little bit. See, something ain't normal. Y'all seen her? So, Chris, what's your. Just standing there with the food. You're dating my sister, right? He's dating my sister. You had your chance. You ever get in a string fight as a kid? I did judo after school, first grade. Aww. You should have seen me. And I mean, really trained, you know. No pussy footing around. You'd be a fucking beast. Hi. <laughs> Why didn't she bring it out? Strength doesn't matter, right? It's all about this. Cool. No karate at the dinner table. It's not karate, mom. Yo, I got a rule. No, no, no play fighting with drunk people. Okay, now you're invading his space. I wasn't gonna hurt okay. him. Okay. We didn't think that. Well, I didn't. They red flags. The whole family. Fucking headlock. Oh, and my mom being rude to Georgina. What the fuck was that about? That was so crazy. Are you stating the obvious? Or do you really care? Or? Mm-hmm. Anything. Anything more you'd like to add? I told you so. Like, How are you so calm? Honestly, it's nothing. I like you. Yeah, you're... nothing too serious, just awkward. Is this a racial flower? I'm back in the bee. You're so white. <laughs> Why do we keep bringing up color? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ooh. I think I was gonna make a cigarette. Should have just opened out the window and just puffed out. <laughs> I guess that is disrespectful in somebody's house that don't smoke. <laughs> Bitch, what you doing up? What is? <laughs> so now, what happened to the man at the beginning? Who kidnapped him? Why are you running straight towards me? Seeing that right? Yeah, you better have your fist ready to punch him. What's he doing? Yeah, it's, it's time to go now, sir. Don't even go back for your bag. Why did you trust him with your parents? Because they did say they used to watch the parents before they passed. Do you realize how dangerous smoking Something is? different. Come in and sit with me, please. Say no. <laughs> you just dangle a pocket watch in front of people's faces, is that it? <laughs> I didn't suggest ability. That's right. That's right. Do you smoke in front of my daughter? I'm gonna quit, I promise. That's my kid. That's a grown woman. I don't think we need to be answering because she keep moving that spoon. She, you need to go. I don't want to think about that. Yeah, she's starting. Tell this is it. it. And he simply told you no. Yeah, I don't think he realize, realizes it yet. Where is your mom? Go throw the spoon and hit her in the head with it. <laughs> At this point. Huh. Now he's crying. I don't know. I just... This is not right. Oh, he wants to get up. How do you feel now? You're a bitch. That's how we feel. I can't move. And if I get up, I'm gonna whoop your ass. You can't. Now, sink into the floor. 
Oh my gosh, so his... And there's nothing he can do. Like, he's, he's, he's stuck. Have you ever felt like you was asleep, but like you didn't get enough sleep? And so it's like you're up. You think your eyes are opened. Let me see. And this is what it's making me like feel. And that's weird, like, cause I freak out when that happens. It happened to me like maybe four times in my whole life. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce the word, but I'm gonna pop it up so y'all can read it. The conscience between wakefulness and asleep, which is translation to a state that occurs before you wake up. Um, I have felt that before. Let me know if you have. And that's what it, this is the vibe it's given me. And I feel weird out when that happened to me. Like I was so scared. Yeah. Bitch, you about to die when we get up. No, now it's dark. Did that really happen or not? If he don't leave today, we don't just have them type of dreams. Because no. Because no. Was that not a wake up call? You should have took the picture. <laughs> so we can have evidence. Now she gone. Because, yeah, the niggas not acting like the niggas. This is not how we act. And it's, 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 it's awkward. We haven't had a conversation. That's weird. Nothing I don't want to be doing. What? I know who you are. Sorry about last night. What? Are you? My exercise, it will work. You were in Mrs. Armitage's office for quite some time. I should get back to work and mind my own business. Sir. That's not how you communicate. Like he's controlled. This is like the fifth red flag, sir. Leave. And I can I can barely remember anything, but now the thought of a cigarette makes me want to throw up. I'm sorry. I can't believe she did that to you. Yeah, you need to go talk to her. It's not what he says; it's how he says it. You know. Yes. Hmm. I will. Um. I'm gonna talk to my dad about. It. Oh man. It begins. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I'm not. She is not the only girl alive. You better go find you a different one. Oh, that's quite a grip. Well, thank you, you too. Man. You uh, you ever play golf? Once, a few years ago. I wasn't very good. But uh, I do know Tiger. Oh, that's great. Why did you say Tiger out of everyone? Nielsen and Elisa. <laughs> oh. Just come and touch on me. Every person you talk to. I'm gonna take some pictures. Sure. You better skip your ass out that house. I don't care how much I like you. I'm running. <laughs> yeah, this is making me uncomfortable. So I don't know how he's not uncomfortable. Another man. Go talk to him. It's the one they kidnapped. That That's not him. Of course it is. Uh-uh. They own you. This is what this is. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. That's nice. Wait. They even made his grammar more proper. He did not talk like that on the phone. Uh, goodbye. No, why didn't you fist? He's entertainment. Fuck. And you still walking around exploring. Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. I began dealing, then of course my vision went to shit. It ain't fair, man. Oh, you got that right. Shit ain't fair. <laughs> They have to know he's not controlled, and that's why they're acting like that. Like, that has to be why. What's not clicking? Call an Uber now. Tell your best friend the address and everything. We, I don't think we can. Left me out. I don't think we can trust her either. She brung us here for a reason. Like, maybe it's the only way she knows how to warn you. That people are just unplugging your phone. Don't do that. Don't. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all good, right? I got hypnotized last night. Go. Bruh, I don't care if the bitches are Yana Von Zant, okay? You don't she do that. She can fix my motherfucking <laughs> life. But they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. They have you fucking barking like a dog. And I'm they could have. White people love making people sex slaves and shit. I'm gonna tell you this. I think that mom is putting everybody in a trance and she fucking the shit out of them. Thanks, it's right, the whole black. family. I can assure you, there was no funny business. I wasn't trying to snitch. Yeah, that's how we talk. Snitch, tell on you. Rat you out. Get you fired. Tattletale. 
Okay. I don't answer to anyone. Right. Right. What's your agenda? She's telling you right now, like, she can't get her mind out of her, her, her brain, like her brain's not working. She... <laughs> Do you remember? Oh. No. Do you remember when you try to get out and you couldn't move? Oh. The Armitages are so good to us. They treat us like family. Slaves. Animals. We are caged and she was she's trying to get out. Just like you was in a chair. That's what that was, wasn't it? This bitch is crazy. No, that made me cry. Hiroki Tanaka. Is the Asian man like that? Like can we talk about more than race? My race. Yo, my man. They were asking me about the African American experience. Maybe you could take this. Yeah. Back. For the most part, very good. Good Interest. job. The chores have become my sanctuary. And he quits talking. Cry. Bleed. I'm stuck. Get out. Get out. Oh, he's unhypnotized. He's not hypnotized anymore. But he's telling you to run. Seizures create anxiety, which can trigger aggression. He was warning you. I know that I must have frightened you all quite a bit. Especially you. Girl. No, thank you for warning us. And you shouldn't have been drinking either. It was nice meeting you, Chris. Yeah. My cousin's epileptic. That wasn't a seizure, right? My dad's a neurosurgeon. When he came at me, it felt like I knew him. Met Logan before? No, I don't know Logan. I knew the guy that came at me. I think your mom got in my head, right? Got in my head. And now I'm thinking all this fucked up shit that I don't want to think about. I just need to go. Go home. Without me. Girl, how can you be that selfish? If he's uncomfortable, take him home. This is like a bid. This is like an auction, isn't it? That's why they're doing it again silent. How can you? Everybody's in on it. I hope she's not in on it. I mean, he's over here crying to you. Oh, I'm not gonna leave here without you. I'm not gonna abandon you again. You a fool. You a fool, then. Come live with me or something. Like, no. I love you. I hope she loves you. I hope. This was an auction party, is what this was. On a person, a human. I wouldn't spend another night. Send it to your friend. Oh, that's Drake. Drake. Andre Hayward. You better keep your voice down. Crazy. No, it's creepy. No shit. Why is he dressed like that? I told him. I told him. But who am I? Go save your friend. Because I would. We gotta go. We gotta go now. I trust her. Jessica, Sarah, what's her name? Shit, I don't even remember who he is. Oh, it's Chris. <laughs> it's just too much going on. What? It was her boyfriend, the one outside. That's him, isn't it? And they are auctioning them off. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. She brought a girl home. Why not? They don't even have her afro out anymore. Just Bitch, you better. I'm about to spear her ass. <laughs> spear her spear. ass. You okay? And no, we don't condone the violence, but this is past the line. Yeah. Oh, how terrible. Rose, you know, that's her name. Rose the keys. He's finding those keys. Yeah. Let him know these hands for everybody in this house. It's a reflection of everybody. Mortality. Even those keys. Rose, no! No, the keys! Oh, 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 yeah. Now, put your bag down. Where are those keys, Rose? Chris, you work in my nerves. Tell them these hands are rated E for everybody in this house. We'll get Molly whopped. <laughs> he just tried to swing. Wow. Look, and she's hip he's hypnotizing. Like this is like pathetic. 
and he's up, he's awake, and they laugh. How? Go get your friend. Yeah. Me too. You are his only way out. something greater something perfect how's it how and we're control don't waste your strength don't try to fight it you can't yeah, stop they the family y'all can all go to hell disrespectfully <laughs> not respectfully <laughs> it's a camera ma'am but but this is not tsa business okay don't call me ma'am we're well, not gonna get along Frank, 26. His name is uh, Chris, Chris Washington. He left on Friday with his girlfriend, uh, Rose Armitage. He didn't dress like this. Mine used to dress like this. Huh? Plus, he's married to a white woman twice his age. Hold on a second. Then he sent me some weird picture. And I'm like, oh man, that's Andre Hayes. Where I'll be abducting black people, brainwashing them, and making them slaves. Hypnosis? That's making them slaves or whatnot? What's the next move? <laughs> <laughs> it could be your ass. Why are you laughing? That shit makes sense. You have to do it. Hello? Chris? Yo, um... He left two days ago. He left? Yeah, he... Oh, he never came back here. Oh my god. What did you say? Good. I just said he was missing. Everything. Oh, good. What cab <laughs> company did he, uh... A local one, or I guess he, he could have called an Uber? Record her ass. Fuck, I got you. I'm gonna record your ass. Thanks the Lord. Record the shit. Yes, Talk exactly. To you gonna say something. So last time I talked to Chris, he told me your mama hypnotized him. I know why you're calling. Why is that? That there's something between us. What the fuck you know? Chris is my best friend. Yeah, fuck you. I didn't want to... Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> All going to hell. Mental preparation is basically a psychological pre-op. Partial, actually. The piece of your brain connected to your nervous system needs to stay put. So you won't be gone. You'll be able to see and hear. Yeah, they was warning you. Now you're in the sunken place. Good. Might want to be him so bad. You got it quick. Good on you. Some people want to be stronger, faster, cooler. We're not humans. You're a eye man. I want those things you see through. No, 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 no. And do it again just in case. And do it again just in case. I'm sorry, but at this point, they did too much to come back from. We have to come with power. And it's sad it had to end this way. It really is. And the house catching on fire. He wanna woke up from that in the head, hit two times. How bad do you wanna live? <laughs> Knowing what's happening. But little does she know. Yeah, another another man. Look now she has all her boyfriend pictures up. Did that wake her up? Cause she's innocent too. Grandma. 
grandma's living in her. Now let's go. You're back to your regular self. Mm. They was put in this situation. Too far gone. Too far gone. How are they not humbled once they're down? Like, not humbled at all. And that's the sad part too. You don't see no wrong and you do not feel bad. He couldn't kill her. Thank the Lord. That's the best friend everybody needs. I mean, I told you not did. to go in the house. <laughs> this is not the time. Not the time. How you find me? I'm T.S. motherfucking A. Put some respect on it. Consider this situation fucking handle. Next level of BS. What the title say says it all. Get out. The fuck now. Like, no way fans are but. Let's talk about get out. Like I said, when you're dealing with racial or any type of movie i do believe you should learn your history but if you watch it over and over and over it's going to bring nothing but negativity um i do believe we all can say it was a part in life that shouldn't have been it shouldn't have been there was no reason whatsoever why you should control a person to work for you to do anything for you and if they're willing to do it then then so be it but to have control over them is is it's unacceptable and for people to think in their mind, this is right, this is right, this is life, this is meaning of our life, our family. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's so wrong. So wrong. And they picked this black man because they didn't see that they didn't see them as human. And I feel like we all can agree on that. Because if they did, they wouldn't have got treated like this. And I know the blind man said, I don't care what color you are. I just want my eyes. At the end of the day, it does matter because all her boyfriends was black. Even her girlfriend was black. So it does matter. It does matter. Yeah, the whole family was in on it. The daughter is the one who's lowering these people in just to just to be controlled, just to for you to be them. And that's kind of wicked, too. It, it honestly is. It is. It's sad, too. But I will agree that Chris has so many red flags. And even if he wanted to ignore the red flags, it's just right in your face. And it's keep it keeps coming right in your face, right in your face. Like the whole family didn't have nothing to talk about but black. That's it. Every time they talked to him, they didn't talk about nothing but his color and being judgmental and what they think about black men or women. And it was a lot of times they did that. I think I pointed almost all of them out. I can only imagine being fully awake and someone controlling you and you're not able to do anything. That is scary. That is so scary. And it's more scary that you fall in love with this woman and for her to bring you back to the home just to do that to you. Not only that, but you sat and cried about your mom and your life and she still didn't care. It's crazy how she could play her part so well to act like she loved you and never miss a beat to mess up anything. And then to bring you back here and you still don't know. Um, yeah, and we didn't save Andre. Andre still, hey, he still, he still have control to this day, brother. Damn. And you shouldn't be uncomfortable talking about these certain things. You should be able to talk about it. We should be able to communicate and learn. Learn from this. Learn more about the culture. Learn more about the people and their struggles. Instead of judging them. Instead of using them. You know, there's certain ways you can go about it. This was whore. This was wicked. And yeah, painful. This was painful. It was manipulation. The audience. Manipulation. It makes you, it makes you think deeply about life. It's just sick when you see movies and TV shows and things like this, knowing this probably has happened before or it has happened in the past, even if it wasn't this way. The past is the past, but you can never forget the past. You will never forget the past. And that's what makes this more powerful. It is. Even if it is disturbing and uncomfortable. History is history. And the way they made history 
was painful and negative. There was no good in history. And that's the sad part of it when it comes to this type of situations. But of course, you guys give me your opinions down below. How did you feel when you first seen it? How did you feel when you first seen Get Out? Was it disturbing? Was it sick? Was it horror to you? You guys let me know down in the comments. What red flags did you see the first time? I mean, right off the bat, I was catching them. I mean, I was catching them. So put your comments down below. Full link special being on the description. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you guys for staying tuned, being open-minded, and watching Get Out with me. Although it was uncomfortable and disturbing, we explored it. We checked it off the list. And let's get to the next movie.